Ashley, will you please stop throwing rocks at us? Sorry. We were just trying to make the bomb go off. Well, don't. Sorry. <gasps> If we can just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, Keisha. That's so funny. I forgot to... <clears throat> so, we need 16 new classrooms, a sports hall, a canteen and a swimming pool. And where is the pool going to go? Oh, 31 Pinto Road, Tutin. It's to keep the wife quiet. Hmm? So, what do you want from us? Let's call it a public-private partnership. We need to raise money to rebuild the school, we pay a percentage, and you pay a percentage. And what sort of figures are you looking at? Total cost, £16 million. So, we need you to weigh in with £15 million. £999,970. Right. Here, there's only let me get 30 quid out of the cash point. What with my convictions? And uh, what could we do with the school? Mm, anything. Within limits. And what would those limits be? OK, anything. Well, I think Albanian chicken nuggets might be interested. I think Albanian chicken nuggets might be very interested. Excellent. And uh, is you guys from Albanian chicken nuggets? We are. Oh, it's even better. <laughs> Can I ask why you brought your mascot with you? Bob's not our mascot. <laughs> He's our finance director. Stroke mascot. <laughs> Very much with my finance director hat on today. Mm. And I said to her, but babe, we was both drunk. It didn't mean nothing. And uh, she seemed quite happy with that. OK. Now, Mr. Beeb has some important announcement about the school. OK. Who likes chicken nuggets? And who thinks chicken nuggets are yuck? <laughs> You know, the way I look at it, there is nothing more malleable than the mind of a child. Oh, did I say malleable? I meant precious. So we're malleable, are we? No. First he said that, then he realised he got it wrong and said precious. Hmm. You've got to listen straight to Nutella. I don't trust this guy. Pardon? Nothing. Now, I've heard a lot of wild rumours flying about. Huh? <laughs> We've replaced math lesson with chicken frying lesson. <laughs> Or the gym hall will become stinking blooded slaughterhouse. Honestly, where is your kids get this stuff from? <laughs> Seriously, we want to know who is leaking this stuff so we can break his legs. That's it. Put the legs and the wings in the box. And what's the only part of the chicken that you can't put in the box? The face. The fingers. The willy. Actually, it's a trick question because there is no part of the chicken that you can't put in the box. <laughs> the whole thing is completely unethical. Unethical? What does that mean? It means wrong. Wrong? What does that mean? <sighs> Look, Keish, these chicken bitches don't care about us. All they care about is money. When was the last time we had a lesson that didn't involve chicken? Yesterday, double chicken. That involved chicken. Did it? I got to listen more. Come in. Ah, a little girl. I know what you up to. Is you mean the tax thing or the sex thing or the exploiting the state school system for Iqbal's own personal gain thing? The Exploiting the state school system for your own personal gain thing. Oh, ah, sex thing is much worse than that. Seriously, there's all kinds of stuff involved. Equipment, bags, all sorts. I just want you to know, I smell the fetid stench of corruption. It's not smell of corruption. It's my nuggets. <laughs> hmm. Has anyone ever told you, you always look like Jennifer Lopez? 
No. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a reason for that. Now get out of my office! Better than PE used to be. <laughs> <laughs> His guts is on my head. <laughs> Maybe there's something in the school rules. I think we need to pay a little visit to the library. <laughs> you don't still believe in libraries, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Nutella's a little baby. <laughs> 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 This is yet another example of corporate infiltration into our school system. Oh, I wish he'd infiltrate my system. We're not talking about a man. And if we were, he'd infiltrate my system first. We've been betrayed. For a few pieces of silver. And some chicken. Yeah, but what can we do about it? Right. The way I see it, we've got two options. One, we just bend over and take it straight up the flash pipe. Or two, we actually do something about it for a change. Yes, we've let the system weigh us down for too long. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's time to get on top of the system and, and ride it like a big sweaty bull. <gasps> because um, the very principle of free state education itself is under attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's about time somebody volunteered to man the barricades. Hooray! in favour of industrial action. All those in favour of taking up the flush pipe? Yeah. Yeah. Motion carried. Oh, come on! If we don't put a stop to this unhealthy obsession with fried food, each and every one of these kids is going to end up as fat as a house. Or you. Martin, are you going to let her talk to me like that? Hey, hey. He thinks you're fat as well. Everybody does. Well, you're the one eating all the buckets. We should start calling you Bucket Face. Well, I'd rather have a Bucket Face than a Bucket Fanny. Martin! I swear, I haven't told anyone. <gasps> There's all sorts of stuff we don't know about in the school rules. We're not supposed to swear at the teachers. We're supposed to have books. Oh, and look, we should have abolished capital punishment. If we hurry, we can save Briony Trigwell from 3B. Hmm? Too late. <gasps> this is it. It's from the 1960s. <sighs> Ooh. We hereby pass the following ordinance. Each year, pupils must elect a school president who will be given total control over school affairs. We hope that future generations will benefit from our muddled and misguided idealism. Emergency procedures in the event of Jefferson Airplane splitting up. Mm. Right, that's less relevant. School president. Keisha, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, where's our modern-day Jonathan Swift? Closer than usual. Let's go. OK, out on 54. There's going to be an election for school president. I will be running, and I trust I can count on your support. Who's running against you? Ah, uh, just some kid. Which kid? A little girl from year seven. Which little girl? Just vote for me. Remember, a vote for Iqbal is a vote for jobs. Your motherfucking jobs. Say hmm? something, Martin. Yes, right. Um, if elected, will you stop the disgraceful and contemptible chicken orientated commercialization of the entire school? Uh, no. Hooray! Hmm. Hmm. May the best man win. <laughs> that means Iqbal, because he's a man. That was actually quite a clever joke. I don't get it. Nutella? Huh? Is you sure you can do this? Keisha, I'm a natural orator. Oh, me too. It's all about tucking your lips over your teeth. The model of public service on which our comprehensive school system was founded was first outlined by Lord Beveridge in the early 1940s. But not until the Butler Act... Get off! Oh, you're oh, you oh, yeah. The Butler Act of 19... Uh, Peace to two! 
Tupac, fuck the police! Keisha, that was wicked and wack and fierce and also, um, vibrant. From now on, you my spin doctor. Nice. Oh, oh, what can I be? Oh, uh, you can be my spin dentist. Sweet! Oh, it's tough crowd. Yes, it seems we may have misjudged our young opponent. You're going to have to produce something really special if you want to win them over. Hmm. Ah, I've got it! Turkish elephant! Ta-da! <laughs> Do you want to feed him a peanut? <laughs> Um, how do you feel that went? A lot of people are saying that the um the chicken guy won the debate. What? Uh, 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 On the oh. contrary, our early numbers suggest we're building support in the key marginals, mm. especially year eight. Mm -hmm. The two pack stuff played well. Big response to the police fucking policy. You could say we're gonna <laughs> fry the chicken. <laughs> Feeling needed. B seven upper left molar. Huh? And the result is as follow. Iqbal bin Ibrahim Morris Kandala. Chicken party. Is for vote. Some teachers must not vote for Iqbal. I did. Mm. What? Natella Tendulka Gavaskar Srivastava. Save comprehensive education and fuck the police party. Is seven vote. <laughs> There is 817 spoiled ballot papers, of which most say Kelly Edwards is a slug. Oh? Hmm? So, as hereby announced that Natella is elect school president. God help us. The first thing I'm gonna do as school president is cancel your commercial exploitation contract. We're 12-year-old girls. We're not employees of Albanian chicken nuggets. Yeah, not for another four years. I hope you know what you're doing. Bob's right. This is big boy stuff you're into now. Keisha, Latrina, will you go and collect these gentlemen's belongings and dump them outside the school gate? Ooh. Natella, can I talk to you as an adult? Of course. OK. I think my wife has fallen out of love with me. Mm, right. Wow! Do you remember the clangers? They was brilliant. Uh... Whatever has happened to a flock of seagull? Can we stop talking like adults now? OK. Mr. Bibb? Now, why don't we see if we can come to some sort of mutually beneficial arrangement that lets Albanian chicken nuggets remain at the school? Give me one good reason why I should do a deal with you. I've got 100,000 good reasons right here. <gasps> reason one, symbiotic relationship between education and industry. Reason two. Oh, oh, I thought you might have a hundred thousand pounds in there. Oh, I'm sorry, did I give you that impression? We could, of course, make some funds available. Really? If you was feel a huge bribe would be appropriate. Well, bribe is a very ugly word. Oh, kickback, bang, sweetener, payola, backhander, bakshish, palm oh, Okay, bribe is fine. But what about all my reasons? It's not necessary, Mr. Bib. I stayed up all night writing these. We've dumped all their stuff, and Latrina's done a poop in one of their pockets. <laughs> it was wicked. <laughs> well, bring it all back. They're staying. Mm. How comes? Well, it's quite difficult to explain. They gave me 100,000 quid. Oh, wicked. Let's buy sweets. I'm sorry, Kish. I've got other plans for this money. Plans that could really make a difference around here. <laughs> <laughs> You should spend some of the money on the school. Oh, I'm definitely going to spend it on the school. Once I've got my feet under the desk. My new mahogany desk with gold leaf filigree. Good day. We are from the Russian Mafia. So is that one of them umbrellas you can kill people with? Yes, it is. Sure, so you kill someone with it. OK, I will. Ivan, stop it! That's really dangerous. Sorry, Leo. If I had longer, I would beat him to death. Ooh. How can we help you? 
The Russian Mafia would like to empty your beans. Uh, I don't know. I think Mr. Miller empties our beans. I will pay you $50,000 for a contract. Uh, it's only worth £8,000 a year. Leo, I think we need to show this young lady what the Russian Mafia is capable of. See? We'd be really good. Hmm, okay. I would be glad when you had spent this money and made the school all better. Then you can stop being president. Yes. As soon as the people are ready to hold more free elections, I will step down. And is they ready now? Oh, I don't think they're quite ready yet, Keisha. Hmm. What about now? Ah, the sense so bad, Mr. Bib. We keep taking the chicken money, split the 50-50 with the kid, everybody's happy. Can't you see? All we've done is swap one tyrant for another. An 11-year-old tyrant? Oh, come on, Henry. Why'd you keep calling her Henry? There's a hole in her bucket. Oh, I get it. That's excellent. You can actually have 11-year-old tyrants. No, you can't. Oh, I suppose you've never heard of a certain little boy by the name of Mr. Adolf Hitler. Right little terror away he was. Hitler was 44 years old by the time he was elected Chancellor of Germany. He looked older, didn't he? Because he had a moustache. Like that little Asian fella in year seven. Or Miss Gosby. Is anyone going to help me do something about the fried chicken problem? It's too late, Henry. You've eaten way too much already. Martin, say something. Carol, I do not think of me and Melanie in bed together. Uh. What? Nothing. Fuck. Mm. So I'll have three in gold and four in silver. Platinum. Oh, go on then. <laughs> Why are we in a limo when all our friends is learning how to fry chicken? It's Market Forces Latrina. I think it's unethical. Unethical? What does that mean? It's wrong, Nutella. Wrong? What does that mean? Mm. Oh, dear. OK, bitches, it's time for action. We need to reclaim the school. Anyone who is want the school back to normal, come for me in the library now. Anyone who's want the school back to normal, but with more biscuits, come from me in the library now. Yes, yeah. come on. It must be in here somewhere. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a rule that says you can challenge the new president straight away if there's no good. Let me see. Do you think there might be one in there? Indeed I do, miss. Indeed I do. Do you think someone who can read might find it quicker? Indeed I do, miss. Indeed I do. OK. And what's in it for me? We thought maybe six mil... I'm sorry about this. I'll get Keisha to deal with it. And don't forget that number you were about to say. I have a dream. A dream of white kids and brown kids and black kids all joined in harmony. Latrina has a dream about a tunnel and a series of bigger and bigger trains. Mm. Let's make those dreams come true! Yeah! Vote Keisha! What the hell's going on? We need to find another rule. Read that. In case the first president doesn't work out, just, like, have another election straight away. <laughs> if the first president loses, then he or she, because it could actually be a woman in the future, is out. Keisha! Wow, democracy in action is really exciting. We've all got an equal say in our destiny. That's right. I am a powerful force for change. Oh, you're turning me on, Martin. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, let's get out of here. Right, where should we go? Um, oh, you decide. No, it's only fair that you have your say. Oh, Martin, you idiot. What? Hey. <laughs> And the result is as follow. Kisha Marie Christie. Keeping it real. 417 vote. <laughs> <laughs> Natella Tendulka Gavaska Sri Vastava. Save the police and fuck comprehensive education. One vote. <clears throat> yes! There is 402 spoilt ballot pepper, of which most is Kelly Edwards' give BJ's. Huh? As he by announced that Kisha Marie is elect as school press. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Come for your office, have you? This ain't my office, and it ain't your office. It's the headmaster's office. Wait a minute, you said it was my office or your headmaster. That's right. I just want things to be back like they was. Before you went mad! I got quotes for fixing the rest of the school. It comes to £18.5 million. Pounds. But that is all my money. Those is my conditions. Take it or leave it. How about I knock the quote down to £17.5 million and you spend the extra million on temporary tattoos and mobile phone top of card? No. How's about? No. I want everything to be back like it was before. Oh, and that is make everything all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, ho, ho, ho. Iqbal is being sarcastic. So everything is be back to normal. Indeed. Maybe those crazy hippies from the 60s were really onto something. I got a confession to make. You see, there never was a rule about a second election. I was bluffing. <gasps> you outwitted me. Well, I did have some help. Mr. Jackson made up the new rule, and Mr. Phillips just wrote it in the book. Bravo, Martin. I'm proud of you. You is fired! Oh, Martin, you idiot. Sir, looks like you win. I didn't win. Keisha and Latrina win. One. Well, I'll see you all in four years' time at your nearest Albanian chicken nuggets brunch. <laughs> Cheerio! Why is Kelly Edwards in your car? You would never guess what, ladies? Them geezers fixing the school have just found another bomb. <laughs> Let's go chuck stones at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>